Hey there everyone, this is Danielle. Uh, as promised previously, I'm going to take a look at the online playing Luigi's Mansion 3. Uh, there are two multiplayer modes here. The Scream Park is apparently local only, and I don't have anyone around who has the game, so I'm not going to look at it right now. Um, I don't know if you can play it on just one console, maybe you can? I don't know. Anyway, um, Scarescraper though has online play, and I have a friend lined up to play with. Uh, you might be familiar with her, I don't know, it's Nintendo LP or Z dude or whatever she's called on, on, um, YouTube, I think, I think that's her YouTube name. <laughs> yeah, I've got it, you know, lined up to play, so we're gonna do that, uh, and see how it goes. So, I'll go into Scarescraper here, uh, I'll load my file, there we go. Uh... I'm a little confused as to what I'm seeing here. I guess I want to pick the top one. <laughs> I guess that's just recent autosaves or something. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't realize the game had multiple autosaves. Um, but apparently it does, so that's cool. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we got local play, we got online play. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna go online play. I'm not sure if I'm going solo or co-op. Uh, I'm, I'm asking Natsumi now, see what she thinks. Uh, online solo, okay. Boop! Uh, same controller, there we go. I think co-op means like two local controllers or something. Um, with friends. Oh, there we go. She already got it up and running, easy peasy. Yeah, yeah, the co-op mode, if you pick co-op back there, it means to have another player locally with another controller, which I don't. So yeah, uh, we're going to go into this mode. There we go. Connecting. I have no idea what to expect. I don't know how this mode works. <laughs> Hopefully this works okay. I do occasionally have some trouble with online modes in Switch games. The Wi-Fi out here isn't fantastic for the Switch. It has a little bit of trouble. Uh... Please work. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, so I'm playing as a uh, uh, blue Luigi. Blue EG. <laughs> cool. Um, yeah, I don't think I can. None of the buttons do anything. I can just say I'm ready, and that's about it by the looks of things. Okay, um, I guess I'll wait until she's approved it. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, um, yeah, I don't know how this game actually works. I haven't tried to play it in multiplayer, so... <laughs> this is something I don't know what to expect. I did load my save file, so it might have something from the story mode that carries over. Uh, maybe? I don't know. Well, that's a pretty small skyscraper. I'm guessing it'll get taller as we play. Or maybe you get to play on taller ones. Okay, well, here we go. It's two Luigi's. Hello, Luigi. Over here. Uh, I can press a cross for over here. Down is help. Left is thank you. Okay, cool. Okay, ghosts. Ghosts, ghosts, ghosts. Ghosties. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it's definitely cooperative, but also I think a bit competitive, because it's saying Nat, Nat cleared the room and I didn't. I'm a little confused. Okay, you can walk through the television. Okay, this is a little confusing. A bit chaotic. I think Nat's better at the game than I am. She has already finished the story and I haven't, so...
Yeah. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I can't move. Okay, there we go. Is it this way? No, I went the wrong way. I'm trying to get to where you are, but I can't figure it out. Where are you? I'm really confused. You actually in the next room? This is a confusing mode. Like, I can see another... Like, if you look at the map, you can see... That they're there somewhere, but... Where? Where do I go? In, in this room, I think? In the corner? No? Oh, there you are. I'm so confused. This is really, really confusing and weird. <laughs> okay. Um... Okay, so it, I think it's cooperative, but I'm not sure whether we're actually competing, but we seem to be helping each other, so I, I guess so. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just I'm baffled. This game is so confusing. Okay, I cleared a room, apparently. Oh my goodness. Uh, there's a chest here. Something good in it? Yep. Oh, extra time, okay. Oh yeah, there is a time limit, and we're not doing very well considering that time limit. Hmm. Kind of weird that both the characters are Luigi, but I guess that was just easier than having to animate another character just for this mode. <sighs> I thought they could have explained a bit more clearly what you're supposed to do in the multiplayer mode. Because they didn't really have any explanation before it started. I, I guess it's ghost capturing, which is what you do in this game, but, I mean, it's just, it's just confusing. Um, could be worse, I guess. Goggles? What do the goggles do? It's not like there's like a manual I didn't read, because games don't have manuals anymore, it's just, it doesn't really explain this mode properly. Also, there's a bit of net lag as well, which is not good. Okay, I need help over here. What's going on? 
Oh, he's on my Goichi. There we go. It needs to be heavy enough to open that door, so we need to use both Goichis, basically. Yeah, Goichi is a thing you can summon in this game. I didn't say that in the first video because I didn't quite get far enough, but yeah. It's a weird gimmick. <laughs> You can do sort of co op puzzles by having both Luigi and Gooigi. It's weird. It's a weird game. It's fun though. Do 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 do. Alright. Are there ghosts out here? There's crows. Those are similar to ghosts. You don't seem to run faster when you keep going in the same direction in this game like you do in the um, story mode, which is a bit weird. How did you get in there? Oh god, we're running out of time. There's nothing out there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fan of this mode. I don't really like the time basis for it. That seems to be mandatory. Um, I tend to play these get this these um these Luigi's Mansion games quite slowly in an exploratory sort of fashion. So being forced to speed run one, it just isn't my my jam. <laughs> I go in here. Yes. Give me that newspaper, ghost. Does me vacuuming these ghosts while they're being, like, slammed by the other Luigi actually do damage? I can't tell. It's just a very confusing mode. I think it should have a tutorial to explain the differences between this and the regular game, because it is different, and I'm having trouble figuring out how it's different. <laughs> also, I keep getting the two Luigi's mixed up. Any ghosts in here? No. Okay, so we do get to run if we walk fast enough. In a, in a big room like this one. So that's something. So, are the ghosts out here? No. Um, where are the ghosts? Looks like you get enough time bonuses that the time is sort of okay, provided you don't dawdle, but I'm still not a fan of having a time limit in, in this sort of game. I think some of the missions in Luigi's Mansion 2 did this as well, and I, I don't like it. Also, by the way, the controls for Gooigi are weird. You click the right stick to switch between Luigi and Gooigi, but the minus button on the controller does nothing. And I think the minus button would be a more comfortable button to use than clicking a stick. So I'm not sure why they designed it that way. It, it weirds me out. Uh... Oh, hang on, I think I meant to... yeah. There we go. That makes more sense. Okay. Is there not a door over here? Should be. I not see one. Do we have to go around this way? Oh no, time's up! Okay, um... This game mode is so confusing. Yeah, let's restart. I guess you do one floor at a time, and and then it advances, and you can do the next one. I don't know if, like, you get just the abilities you would have at that point in the game based on your save file. Maybe? It's, it's hard to tell. Um, this is a confusing game. Yeah, it's roughly the same as doing a time trial of the regular game, but it's also 
more confusing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of this from what I've seen. Um, it, I like that it's here. I think it's cool to have a multiplayer mode, but I'm not a huge fan of it. I think probably the co-op uh, mode in the normal game I prefer. I'm guessing that means one player controls Gooigi and one player controls flesh -Eg, um, or something like that. Seems probable based on how this game usually works in single player mode. Uh... Ow. There's a little bit of lag as well, which I think is making this more confusing than it needs to be. Like, net lag sort of thing. When I take an action, it takes a little bit for things to update. How do I vacuum you up? There we go. Yeah, the, the lag is making everything more confusing than it needs to be, in my opinion. There isn't a lot of lag, but uh, it's just, it's just... Like, this is semi, sort of, it's sort of a puzzle action kind of game where you have to figure out how to get different kinds of ghosts, and if they don't react immediately when you try something, it just becomes confusing. Okay, we probably need that key for something, so let's go get it. Is it in here? Nope, just a pile. Okay, I've got a key. I don't know what door I need to open with it, but I've got a key. Is it this one that's locked? Is being lit up on the map. Yes, okay. Um. Also, um, my control is acting like I have a like heartbeat or whatever. It's doing a heartbeat effect when, along with a beep beep. Uh, it's- it's uncomfortable. I think it's because I'm at low health. Give me that heart. Okay, that's a bit better. Uh... This is hard. <laughs> oh, Luigi needs rescuing. G green AG. <laughs> I, d I don't know. Uh... So yeah, it's cooperative, but it's also keeping an individual score, so I guess it's semi-competitive? Heck yeah. Oh, come on, that got it? I got nearly all the health out of that burst. Taka might even count as clearing the room. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Nat, Nat definitely got that one, that's fine. Woo! 
Ooh, ghost gone. Uh, are the ghosts in here? Yes, there's ghosts freaking on the toilet. Dang it, Luigi, you do your job. Almost. Yeah, room clear. Whew. I think we're doing a lot better this time. I think it's hard to hard to tell. Um. Okay. Yeah, we we have to go stand on that uh, little green platform there with all four characters, both of us and our two Guigis in order to open this door. Again, the controls for Guigi are weird. They're just very confusing. <laughs> Yay! Oh, we did it? We fit the floor. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's more like it. Okay. Yay! <laughs> gosh, gosh, I lost a lot of health. 200. Luigi time. Okay, so I guess we have to do five floors. I guess we'll do one full game and call out a video. They're probably about a decent length. Anyway, yeah, this, I, I don't think I like this mode as much as the story mode, which really appealed to me, like, instantly. Okay, capture the ghosts. Oh, we start in different rooms. Okay, that's, that's, that's a thing. Um... Squash the ghost with the other ghost. Yeah. <laughs> the ghost slime mechanic lets you do that. I think it's pretty cool. Ow. No, you're in there. Get over here. Yay! Cleared a room. <laughs> uh, there's probably nothing out here. Yeah, just outside. Give me a big bag. Let's get smashed. Yeah! <laughs> I guess you're supposed to play this mode once you already know about these different types of ghosts, but I haven't seen them yet because I only got a little bit into the story. So, the fact that it doesn't really explain how to catch them, I guess, is reasonable, because you're supposed to already know, but I, I don't know. You unlock this, you unlock the skyscraper a little bit into the game, and it's showing you things that you haven't seen yet in the story, so maybe it should have unlocked a bit later. Oh my god, how many of these guys are there? 22 total, I guess. Yeah. 
Okay, there we go. What just happened? Well, where'd my vacuum go? The poltergeist has been sent to another location. Where? You should mount check down where it went. Oh, I see. Oh, that's really annoying. Uh, not sure I like that mechanic. Because <laughs> I, I, I need that to, to catch ghosts in. It's my vacuum cleaner. It's in here somewhere. Um, can't see it. Is it actually in this next room? Yeah, there it is. Okay. So yeah, that was annoying. Let's jump in the TV. Yeah, that's like a shortcut to just another room somewhere. Does this one have any ghosts in it? Apparently not. I guess the last two were probably in this room. Okay, there's one more ghost somewhere. Oh my god. <laughs> um, let's try going, I think, this way. Hmm, the way running works in this game isn't ideal for a time-limited area. Like, in the normal game it's fine because you're exploring around and you have unlimited time to go wherever you want, but in, the, in this mode it's time-limited, so you want to be able to run immediately rather than after a few seconds. Yay, four two. Okay, so there's five, so Huh, I'm getting better. Or is that number the amount of health you collected, in which case zero is bad? Hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's health lost or health pickup scribed. Could be either. Could be both. You couldn't be both. What am I talking about? <laughs> Okay, it's third floor. I'm guessing it's gonna be roughly the same. Defeat the crows. Oh, that's different. Okay, so sometimes the objective changes. 110, that's a lot of crows. Uh, Luigi, you're staying in the wrong spot. Luigi, go down there. There we go. I thought there might be some crows down here, but there aren't. Oh my god, there's so many of them. <laughs> Crows everywhere! <laughs> Just strobing at them do anything? Doesn't... maybe? I'm not sure. It does! Okay. Just like in real life, if you flash a strobe at some... flash a bright light at a crow, it will turn into money. Keep that in mind, if you find yourself short on money, flash a bright light at a crow. That's the trick. That's that's the secret that you need. Uh, what's down this hole? I'm not sure if getting money is worth anything in this mode, because you're supposed to be doing other objectives, but eh, may as well get some money while we're at it. Can I just leave Gooigi there? Or is he like, no, he, no, no, Gooigi can't stay in... Like, like, if you leave the room, Gooigi goes away. That's a bit annoying. I kind of wish I could leave Gooigi somewhere and then... Therefore be split into two places at once, sort of thing. You can see, um, my, my, uh, Poltergust has a blue thing in it. That's Gooigi. That's how you know that he's not, you know, in the room where I left him. Or that they're, they're not in the room where I left them. The game uses he, him, but Gooigi's a goo. I don't think they use he, him. <laughs> I suppose you could. Some goos do that, but yeah. Why did that do anything? Whoa, yeah. 
Anyway, uh... Let's go around the side of the building on the outside and go through this door. <laughs> Still looking for crows to capture. So yeah, it's cooperative but with a competitive edge to it because of the way uh, it scores you individually, which is neat. I, I think a lot of co-op games like this do that sort of thing, which I think is pretty cool. And yes, a crow will turn into money if you vacuum it, so keep that in mind if you want to get some money by turning a crow into it. What does this do? Oh, I think we need to both be here to, to get that crate moved. Like, vacuum both sides of it sort of thing. Maybe I can use Gooigi for that, because there's only two sides, not four. Let's give it a try. Again, I think the controls for Gooigi are bad. It should be a different button. Okay, yeah, that's how you do it. Cool. The L button, like, the, the not L button, the, the minus button on the controller does absolutely nothing. It doesn't open a map, it doesn't, like, activate anything as far as I know. So it seems like a waste that that's not the button you press if you want to send out Gooigi. Because the right stick is more annoying to press than a button would be. Because it's an analog stick and it moves around and stuff. Come here, crow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hooray! Okay, so that's three out of five. We're making good progress. I'm not sure what those little tick boxes mean, but alright. Luigi time. It's interesting that the um, flashlight is part of the vacuum cleaner, because at the start of the game it's not part of the vacuum cleaner. Like, you have a separate flashlight that you use at the beginning before you get the vacuum, and then it sort of fuses into being a piece of the vacuum somehow. It's like it assimilated it. Floor four. Okay, back to ghost catching. And we're in the same room for some reason. Alright, let's go different ways. Oh, I found a button. Blueprints? What do blueprints do? <laughs> well, I can hear ghosts. Oh, there. Smash all the ghosts against the other ghosts! Oh, you're wearing a lampshade on your head to protect yourself. I see. That's a good trick. There we go. Yay, room cleared. <laughs> Is there anything out here? Oh, uh, there's some glasses. I think I lost them, but it doesn't matter. I'm gonna go look for the other Luigi because he needs help. Um, how do I... Is there a door over here? Oh no, he's free. Okay. Okay, doesn't matter. <sighs> I'm confused. This game confusing sometimes. Uh -oh. Ah! Help. Yeah, I can't actually do anything while I'm stuck in here. Over Even though I'm hold still got a vacuum cleaner. Yeah, I'm pressing all the buttons. Nothing is happening. Um, can't even send out a Gooigi to help me. This is just rude. Help. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> help. 
This is really terrible design. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I okay, can free. Wow. What is that? Uh, what is that? I keep getting weird power-ups, I don't know what they do. <laughs> Apparently a key in there, but I don't know where. Maybe the toilet? Yep, it's in the toilet. Okay. <laughs> Getting more money give us more time or something? It doesn't look like it. I'm not sure what the point of getting all the money is. It doesn't really seem to achieve very much. Okay, you can use the R button instead of the A button when you're doing a smash. I wasn't sure. That's good because it means you don't need to touch the face buttons for most stuff because the, the R button seems to do the same thing as the A button, at least roughly. So you can keep your, um, your thumb, your right thumb, on the right stick, which helps you aim better. Nice. I like that. Yeah, I've got like a powered up story bulb or something, I think. That, like, shoots stuff behind me as well as in front of me, which is pretty cool. Uh, is there anything good in here? Go down the hole and find out. Mm, more money. Oh, there's some time. I like time. I like to have lots of that. I don't know where the locked door is yet. Oh, it's over there. Okay, I need to head that direction. Because I have the key. And there's ghosts in there, so we need to unlock that room if we want to win. Oh, I should use a television to warp over there. I'm silly. So I don't know what the little, like, alarm thingy on the head does, or the glasses, or really any of the power-ups. Oh, I mean, I know what the strobe bulb does. Makes your strobe bulb better, basically. Pretty simple. Yay! Give me that clock, I love to have more time. Oh, hang on. What's going on here? Oh, the glasses make you see things that are like invisible a little bit better. Okay, interesting. So you know that you have to use your um, black light to actually see them. easier to press the um to press the A button than to press the R button though because you're already holding ZR and those buttons are adjacent. <sighs> I might need to practice how I hold the controller for this game. Hooray for Luigi. Okay, so that's floor four. I believe this this particular sky skyscraper, scarescraper, this 
thing we're doing has five floors, so I guess I'll finish off after this. Um... Top floor. Oh, we're on the roof. Oh, is it a boss battle? It's Bulossus. I remember Bulossus. Bulossus was in the first Luigi's Mansion. Um, that's why I remember them. What the heck? Oh, you're supposed to jump over it using that move. Okay. Ah. I don't know what, what to expect, because I haven't fought this boss before. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know how we attack Bulosis. We haven't seemed to be able to do that yet. I guess like that. <laughs> All right. Ah, I jumped too soon. Whoa, ho, ho. Ugh. Dang it. I'm having some trouble here. Is there a way to get health pickups? I haven't seen any during this whole fight. Yeah, I know my health is really low. I don't know how to change that. Oh, you can't wrap in the big one? Oh. Oh no! Can I... Can you bring me back? Is that how it works? Okay, yes. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Probably show you the other the other Luigi's health during this part of the battle. Just so you know what's going on. But it doesn't, so that's great. Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> can I pause? Okay, I can sort of pause, it doesn't actually pause. Okay, that heartbeat thing is really annoying. It could at least drop some health pickups every now and then. What the heck? 
Ah! Time for a snooze. <laughs> the fainted Luigi graphic is really cute. Bombs. Oh my god, this is gonna go for a really long time, isn't it? I don't think this is a very good boss fight. Gonna be honest here. I like the Belossus fight in the original game better. It was very different. Can you, I don't know, grab him from behind or something? Thanks for highlighting the squares we can stand on before doing that attack, it's really helpful. <laughs> I mean, so squares we can't stand on, but you know, making it obvious where we need to go. Oh my god, it's taking so long. <laughs> there aren't a whole lot of booze left, so Bilosis should be losing power, hopefully. That's what's supposed to happen. Oops, I forgot to jump. Really wish there was a way to heal in the middle of the battle, apart from dying. Ah! Couldn't run fast enough to outrun that. Because Luigi's not a fast! <laughs> and can't jump in this game. Bomb time, let's go. Let's go, let's feed some bombs. Not feed some bombs, feed, feed you some bombs. You know what I mean. Wait, they, they don't hit each other when you do that? Really? Yeah, I, I was definitely whacking one of the other little boos with that ghost slam and it, it didn't didn't do anything. Oh my god, I hate this. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. <sighs> no, I don't want to restart from 1F. Did you really have to do that? If you fail at one point, you have to redo the whole thing? Good lord. Alright, um, well, that's Scarescraper. I don't know if it's always exactly like that. It looks like it's probably somewhere randomized. <sighs> I'm not super impressed. <laughs> I'm glad there's a, there's a multiplayer mode, but I, I don't I don't like it. Um, I would prefer to be able to play the story mode in co-op over the internet. You can play the story mode in co-op locally, but you, you can't do it online. <sighs> Which is a shame. <sighs> anyway, yeah, so that's the Scarescraper. Um, it's alright, I guess. Um, if you're really, really good at the game, you might really enjoy it, but I'm not impressed personally, and I think it should have more options, like maybe 
I would like to play non-time attack. I would like to just play ghost catching with a bard and not have to reset the whole game if I fail and go back like, what is it, half an hour worth of play because that's obnoxious. Wow. <sighs> anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this gave you an idea of what that mode's like. Uh, I might do another one where I look at Scream Park, whatever the other mode is. That one doesn't have online play, so I won't need to co collab with a friend to try it. Um, I think I might need to collab with a friend locally to try it, because I think it's multiplayer only. I do have enough controllers, so I can do it locally, but I'll need to find someone to play with. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye!